Welcome back to Zoo Zizzly, I'm the camel and today we speak about lemurs because lemurs and I we have a very specific history as you can tell from the two images on your screen right now. This has been always something very positive for my channel and also lemurs have to go into every zoo I make but there is also one thing that is very special about this build. You guys have been asking for this since the very beginning of Zoo Sicily and finally we are doing this. It's going to be a very nice baroque building, um, very inspired by the style of Sicily. In fact it is a Sicilian kind of a chapel cathedral church that is the inspiration for today's build and we are going to prepare in the first episode for the lemur house and in the next episode will which will be most likely next week um, or maybe tomorrow you never know um, <laughs> uh, we will be doing the interior and the uh, little exterior of the lemur house but more about that later in the real time part i really want to take the opportunity to thank you guys for being so insanely um, helpful and just amazing in the live stream. We had a lot of live streams in which we built this. So in fact, this build that you will be seeing today is 90% um, of it has been done in a live stream. So thank you so, so much. In case you are not uh, on top of the game right now, I am actually live streaming on a regular basis again. I can say so because I maintained it for almost two months now. So I think it's fair to say I'm back. Um, so the link is in the description. And if you don't find it via there, uh, you just go to Twitch and type in Rudy Rancamel. You're going to find me. Uh, so that would be absolutely amazing to see you over there. But way more than that, it would be amazing if you like what you're seeing right now. And if you're interested about the video and you made it to this point in the video, you didn't click away. Very good. Good for my retention, but good for you as well. Um, you you may consider subscribing to the channel because um, there's so much good stuff coming uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, not even speaking only of Planet Zoo, but uh, new games that will be announced, City Skylines 2 and all that kind of stuff uh, is going to be covered. So that would be lovely and as you can tell also from the channel, we are moving forward. Um, we've passed the 80k and I really would love to still hold on to my target of 100k this year, but I can only do so with your help. And I do know that still a lot of people have not been sub, uh, sub to the channel even though they do watch on a regular basis so make sure to check this little box down below on the screen that would be lovely but now let's talk about this staircase area over here well you don't see a staircase it's just like a little serpentine um, pathway first for our uh, strollers and wheelchairs and stuff like that but um this one turned out absolutely beautifully. I will show you in the real-time part. We needed to have a segue from this lower area where the alley ends um, that goes back up onto the hill to the rest of the zoo because at the moment we are in a... Um, area of the zoo that is not really a dead end in the way but this is one of the edges the corners of the zoo um, so this will be an area the lemur house will basically be a barrier to the zoo as well um, so it's it's actually be uh, going to be a, a nice end area which you can stroll around there will be like a little park area there will be like a little viewing point where you can watch the nature unfold but this is basically the transition then back into the zoo and so i needed to make something very beautiful looking and also very usable and this is why we have this transition with some serpentines going up the hill just making sure that everything looks good making sure that everything uh, works fine and we also need this kind of uh, balance between a staircase and a uh, normal meandering path and i'm very happy with how it turned out in the end it looks super super awesome um it's very much deserved that a, a good chunk of today's video um deals with this area because i feel like this is something I learned from Mike and Eben. Uh, I really have to give props to those two because they are so annoying when, when it comes to pathing and to um, areas that have to be connected and the philosophy of how pathways have to act as a more or less even storytelling element in your zoo so that you bring people from A to B but not only that you have to tell a story with that and they've been so annoying and constantly reminding me of sidelines and yeah just in general of inclines I, I gotta say though inclines is maybe the one thing I have not 100% fulfilled over here simply because of some restraints of the uh terrain here so it's it need it would technically need to be even more uh, shallow and even more um no, like the incline has to be a lot more uh, little how's that called less deep that's what i'm going to say subtle that's the word i was looking for my god it's not that 
I haven't had the word in English. My brain was just like bad over here. Uh, but yeah, so I think it's very fine to have this as a as an element here that goes up the hill. I'm also quite happy what we did with the stones. Um, I showed you a little technique earlier in today's video. If you want to skip back, uh, I highly recommend so. How you can make your stone creations and your rock work even more outstanding. Um, however, I will say that right away, it is definitely um, something super hard to, to master because it is a lot a lot of different things that um, you have to consider once you do that. Um, but yeah, it's there is a lot that you can do with it once you once you master it, um, because you need to go a little bit more into detail with the decals and then just adjust the decals to the color. You have to find the right spots and um, find the right element of the texture. But if you do so, it really is super rewarding. Um, but as we are already getting into some FPS issues in this park, I don't want to you know destroy the fps uh, because i still want to kind of bring this project to an end uh, in a somewhat decent performance um even though i have to say the fact that we are already running into some issues here will require me to make this park a little more smaller than i was intentionally thinking it is um but uh this is i think it's down to the fact that i used so 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 much um terrain and and foliage work that this causes the issues. Yeah, um, the classic path struggle does have to be included in every video, obviously. So you can see this staircase over here um, fulfilled a specific um, need because I wanted to have a element that is somewhat in uh, connection to or it has the contact to the building. You will see the building facade later and then you will understand what I was aiming at. So this staircase over here should really be part of the entire area and as this alley is already pretty much the Sicilian inspired and the lower area here, the plaza, is really going into some, some of the more recognizable uh, building styles like Baroque buildings from Italy and I think this is the one spot in the park where I'm going to use this. I don't want to overdo it but this is a very good point to use those buildings. I think it is the perfect weenie for our alley. Like you, you meander, you just take your time, go through that little alley and then you're greeted by this wonderful building um, towering over this plaza and I think it looks absolutely stellar. It is the perfect way to end this wonderful alley and just get a good way of transitioning into another area and which is going to use some other elements. Um, I definitely want to have an area which is a lot more natural. So the next area we are going to and maybe we are going to use some of the arid animals. They somehow do fit quite well into this idea. I did not like this idea was already existing in my head for quite a while. So it's not because of the DLC that I came up with it. But I, I had in mind like we have so many crazy habitats now with a lot of building styles. We've got the Colosseum style, uh, we've got the, the the old winery with some very traditional like Mediterranean buildings. Um, we have the terracotta roofed um, classic Italian or Sicilian styled um, countryside buildings. We have, uh, yeah, we, we have a very much, obviously this house over here, the Baroque styled uh, kind of classic um, almost like city center buildings, which is which is something else I wanted to do. But something we don't really have, and this is also a huge part of Sicily, is obviously a lot more um, countryside in general, like um, large fields with um, a lot of dry grass and some plants and just open open area with a lot of, you know, small little pathways in between where people actually take the bike or can do some tours. And that's basically the idea for the next area I had in mind, just to have a a bit of a contrast to the more heavily themed central area of the zoo and so that there is almost like a if that makes any sense but like a Sicilian Sicilian uh, safari gosh this is a word I don't I shouldn't say too often this is Salasa Slytherin um, <laughs> it's, it's weird though but um, I hope you get what I mean uh, this building now let's talk about this building and just a little reminder I'm going to be very nasty and annoying today but if you made it through this point with the video nine minutes in first of all Big thanks to you. If you're skipping here, I see you. I see you skipping. This might be one of these moments where people skip to. So if you're a skipper, you have to sub to the channel anyways, if you haven't already. For all the other ones, please do sub to the channel. Is that is that a thing I can say? <laughs> um, yeah, no, but just um, to let you know, 
I'm just working on a lot of things in the background and it's um, it's always good to see the channel grow but it's always also good to improve upon certain things so uh, I didn't want to even talk about the sub I want to talk about uh, feedback so please if you made it through this point in the video you may be invested in this build quite a bit or in this video so let me know in the comments down below what you think about the build Please be honest and be as um, helpful as possible, um, specifically when it comes to the outside and the plaza over here. The building itself I'm rather happy with and I don't want to change too much because it already took ages, but um, the outside, the plaza and stuff is something that I really need some feedback on. So just as a reminder, keep that in mind while you have a look at the build right now. Um, but we will have a real-time part in which I'm going to have a closer look onto the plaza so you can judge this even better. Now that said, Let's talk about this building. So it is inspired by a wonderful um, cathedral style building uh, in Sicily and I wanted to take as much inspiration from it as possible but then at the same time I wanted to make sure that it maintains a certain Sicilian style. So it is the, just to give you an idea what exactly this is um, based on, it is slightly based on the uh, Catania Basilica uh, Collegiata or Collegiata. I don't know how this is exactly pronounced, but um, this is the inspiration. Um, and uh, Catania is actually a, an area that uh, is one of the biggest inspirations for this park anyways. There are some other Catania buildings I will uh, use throughout the rest of the park because they have a certain style that I haven't really brought in quite yet. So I will try this. But you have to imagine I took this building as an inspiration. And now the makeover of the building or the, the actual usage of the building obviously is going to be the lemur house so certain elements of the build already have been you know taken into account that they have to be changed according to make this a good zoo building um so for example there are bigger windows more open windows um the complete sides will be open and the complete roof will be made out of glass um or like 90 percent of it just to make sure that a lot of light is getting into the building so a because we have to make that just so that planet zoo looks good planet zoo still isn't that nicely looking in indoors when there is no sunlight it's it's still very flat it's still very um I don't even know how to... It just looks super flat. There's no depth in it because there is no, like, perfect... Like, ray tracing isn't a thing, so you don't get the nicey, bouncy, uh, bouncy lights like in newer games or whatnot. Um, and, and it just, like, looks a little bit lifeless in that kind of sense. So you always want to have the sunlight um, be part of your build. And this is why I kept this rather open. And this building may already be one of the more detailed builds I've done in the past weeks I should say we have focused a lot on realism and we focus a lot of usability and I'm super happy to finally have a building again that is a lot more rudilistic <laughs> um, it is a more rudy like building um, way over the top way too much basically one out of 100 zoos maybe in the world would do so and they have too much money and 99 of the other zoos would never consider doing something like that simply because it would be way too expensive way too inefficient and absolutely pointless because the design is 100% for the guest only. There is no other point. But the idea about this um, whole area in general is more than just a zoo. I imagine that this part of the zoo could actually be used for something else. Maybe like, as I said, for um, some customer events, maybe for some business events, you never know. Um, something like that is always good. Or maybe even for some arts, art style events, uh, because we don't really have too many animals in here that would be necessarily too much uh, stressed by that so um, this, these are animal types of animals that could very well be held even during these type of events I mean you, you would not have some re really parties or something but I could imagine like a jazz festival for example or do we say jazz in English whatever musicians um, like classic music nothing too loud I mean I wouldn't necessarily have a techno uh, event on here but um, the idea is that this could be um, used as something else and this is also the location of the park is very helpful for that so the alley as part of it could be closed off to the seal area like the underwater area is definitely sealed off but haha pun intended and um the rest of it can actually be good because it's also sitting in that little alley here or like in this little it's almost like a little valley we are going down into a little hole it's not like that deep but it would help in terms of sound and stuff uh, so i think it is in general a very nice idea to to have this area as something else more than just the zoo uh, because in order to make, sh make sure you have enough money flow and cash flow, uh, this part is actually 
a lot more different than most zoos are. As we have said at the beginning of this project, this is the idea is we have a big investor who is doing that zoo and this is why it gives me a lot more freedom in terms of modern builds and stuff. And uh, that's the reason why I think simply because they are business people, they would consider making this whole thing more business oriented anyways. And so this could be one of the bigger elements that they used. And so the alley would make double sense because then you have the meeting rooms and stuff there. And this uh, lemur house over here could be the more special location. And the plaza in front of it is big enough to even hold some other events or maybe have like a musician. I, I, I thought maybe we can even put like a, what about putting a piano down there? I mean, that would require me to build a piano in the first place. But for whatever reason, I feel like a piano on that uh, plaza would look phenomenal. Not sure why though, but I think it could be cool. But yeah, architectural wise, you can see I'm using a whole range of different pieces, um, especially from the Euro pack, but also some other pe pieces from the classic Planet Zoo pack and uh, or Planet Zoo elements, I should say. It's not a pack, but yeah. After a lot of trial and error, we came up with a really, really nice idea of how it should look. And um, so that's that from the time lapse. There will be a little bit of a jump into the real time part because uh, the footage of what we have next is for the next video. So I say um, we should actually go over now into the real time part and have a look how it looks in game. All right, we are now in the file. And as you can tell, this is the view from the beautiful plaza down here with our iguanas to the right hand side. And then with our wonderful entrance to the building in front of us. Actually, there's more than just the entrance, but more about that in a second. Um, yeah, you've got the alley on this side. And before we actually go into the area, let me just quickly show you from above that the whole intention of this build was to act like a weenie, as Sylph would say. And once you go down the alley, just zooming in a little, you get this insane view of this wonderful uh, building in the background. And you can always be drawn by it because you can always see it. So this is the, the strategic idea behind the positioning of it. So you can actually always see it. It drags you all the way down. You've got this little habitat in front of you. And then you go here. So at this point, you can either just go into this area where we have the huge open plaza. Again, I will need your help on that one. Um, I have some ideas, but I'm not entirely sold on my ideas, so who knows. Um, but then you go to the other side, and there is our little way up here. As I said, not 100% convinced about 100 convinced about this corner over here. I may just adjust this ramp a little. Maybe I'm just going to do a custom ramp. It's not perfect because the incline here is relatively heavy. Um, so strollers and wheelchairs will have a hard time getting up here. But um, after this little bump, it's going to be very subtle and nice. You can you can actually meander up this alley. Uh, there's this little pathway. And then you get a nice little view over here of this uh, lemur house. And once you're standing over here, you can see things that that have been happening already. So I did a couple more stuff that is for the next video. So I'm going to talk about that in specific, but this is the building as it looks right now. As you can see, it requires quite some cleanup and uh, this netting is not fully done or the mesh, I should say. Um, so a couple of things have to be adjusted. But once we go down again, you will be able to tell that this is the building. And the idea is that you have this huge plaza in front of it. You will be able to see the lemurs running around here outside of the building. Um, the pathway will actually lead inside of the building. And in here, you will have a little bit of a path interaction. We will have like a cozy little chill area here. And then you will be able to go over up until this point. On here, we will have another chill area. But then this part over here will be for the lemurs themselves. So they can just play a little. They will get like an upper area area where they can have a little bit of, uh, you know, privacy and stuff. And uh, I will actually also get them some boxes. Uh, I believe it's going to be con uh, connected to here where like a little backstage area in which they can go. But this is the building then. And you can tell from this side, it already looks pretty clean. A couple of little things we have to clean up up here on the top, but the building itself already looks pretty sick. In my opinion, uh, the door has to be finished from both sides. Obviously, same goes for the other one. And once you go through the building to the other side, you are are basically looking into the nature and this is exactly what this will be like you will be able to go somewhere over here this is gonna be where it is we're gonna have like a little shop or something like here where you can grab some drinks and so on and then there will be like a tiny race platform um, from which you can look down and now it's time to change into the other camera what I will do though is I will actually make sure that this area here goes down a little more so the nature is like the the, the, the rock will be cut a little bit earlier so you have a nice view into into the nature part of this map uh, in fact I don't even know how much I can still do I think 
this is still not okay this is where the border is so i have to be able to put stuff down up until here and then after that i can't do much more so i think it's not really that much more visible no it will remain this area but i think just a couple more trees that will complement the back will be good and then you have got this awesome view this is exactly what i wanted and then just what i talked about in today's video this will be um the spot where the zoo ends on this side and the zoo will then continue um, mostly here, so this higher plateau will still be zoo, um, as I said, maybe with some more arid animals, and that whole area over here, so the, where the mountain isn't fully done, will all be nature, some waterfalls maybe, maybe like a little creek running down, something like that, but this is not going to be part of the zoo, because the zoo will then be extended to this plateau here as well, and that's that, so just to be very precise, the only two areas that need to be filled is this one over here, the same is going to be this one on the left hand side. So these two are the m most open spaces we still have left and the rest of the zoo is relatively done and um, then you can finally see that the initial placement of the Colosseum build was meant to be the center of our zoo anyways and I am very happy with how the plans worked out. Uh, I'm also very happy with the general layout of the zoo so far. A couple of little things I have to adjust but I think the path layout is pretty damn good this time around it's an insane improvement over yosemite valley we still have a pretty good tour that we can do um i will improve on this even more once we have done this area so you can have a full tour of the zoo this is the this was the main idea and there is just a central spine over here in which you can um go to a couple more areas if you want to but the idea is that you will be able to do a full tour of the zoo without missing out on anything um, just by following the route um, and we also got to do a little bit of the entrance area but that is just like putting some plants down and stuff like that nothing major but yeah so this is the this is the um, status quo I really hope you guys are um, you know tuning in for the second episode which is going to be finishing off this entire spot over here I think it's gonna look really cool I may even be able to put the viewing platform in already maybe without the shop but uh, I'm not even sure if we need a shop or if I just put like a kind of a little card in or something like that because we do have all the buildings over here but it would be a nice area to grab some drinks and foods anyhow that's that i really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i certainly did enjoy building this a lot with you guys on stream so again if you guys enjoy that and if you want to be part of it make sure to jump over to twitch and obviously um, becoming a sub on the channel would be absolutely amazing and would make me even more happy but now have a good time thank you so much for watching and goodbye